Good morning. In this video, we shall see Unit 4, Course Lesson 17 Oranges, written by Bill Naughton. Bill Naughton was an Irish-born British playwright and author. He wrote many novels, short stories, plays and children's books. His best-known play is Alfie and children's novel My Paul Spadger. O for Orange, a fruit rich in vitamin C. It has 24 different uses. Orange is a symbol of friendship. Chinese exchange oranges during Chinese New Year, that is on January 25th. Now let's watch a mother sneakily eating an apple. She doesn't want it to be known to a child as it is not to be given to him. So out of hunger and after feeding a son, she eats sneakily snacking. Our lesson's hero is also a sneakily eater of oranges. Let's see how he cleverly manages the situation. The characters in the story is the narrator, Clem Jones, Ponko, and a ship's cat. The narrator is a sneakly eater. What is sneakly? It is doing things in an unfair way. The narrator works in a swift delivery company and so he often passes the dock. What's the dock? It's a platform for loading or unloading ships at port. He drives a little pony and cart for his company. He often hid eatables, especially oranges and bananas, inside his apron. But he cleverly manages the situation. So the lesson describes the narrator as not a thief, but manages situations cunningly. Another character, Clem Jones, is a theft planner. He steals Dutch cheese and never been caught by the Pongo. He plays several tricky ways to execute his theft using ship's cat. What's a ship's cat? It's a cat that sails along on trading to catch rodents. Rodents are rats and mice, which can cause damage to ropes, electrical wirings, and crews, food and grains. Yet another character is Ponko. Pongo is a soldier of the Royal Navy. Pongo, the policeman at the delivery company, witnesses every theft by evidences. One day, the narrator was caught by the police officer Pongo. He was red-handed as his apron string is broken and the hidden oranges within the trouser pockets were noticed. Pongo caught him and looked into his pocket. There were 17 oranges. He counted and placed them carefully on the table. Then he locked him inside a cabin. Pongo called another two policemen for witnessing it. He makes his case as an example for other workers and frightened them for consequences of dishonesty and stealing. The narrator worried that he would lose the job for stealing them. He would the Pongo witness and put him in the prison. He would lose his job and would create a troublesome to his family. The narrator mind was whispered him to eat all the oranges and clear up the evidence. So the narrator ate up all the 17 oranges along with the seeds, peels and even the pips. He vanished the last of the evidence against him. Suddenly the door began to open by seeing the pongo. He swallowed the last piece of the last orange. Pongo looked everywhere for the oranges. He looked in the narrator's pocket too. He was able to understand what had happened. But it was very difficult to believe. Pongo was not able to send him to prison because there was no evidence. Pongo became angry and shouted at him. But he did not say a word. Finally, he had to let him go. But to the narrator, for a week, she, he became sick with stomach upset, 
because of the peels, pips and everything. Comparatively, Clem is a thief planner. The book describes Clem as a thief. Clem used to plan theft very carefully. He was a careful planner. One day Clem was coming out of the dogs carrying a box. The policeman stopped him and asked him to open the box. He escaped saying that the cat inside the box would run away. Pongo shouted at him. So Clem got very angry and finally opened the box. When he opened, a ship's cat ran back into the docks. So Clem ran after the cat shouting angrily. Two minutes later, Clem came back with the same box which looks almost similar to the previous one. He was holding the lid down tightly. Pongo then laughed at Clem. This time Clem looked furiously. He pretended to be angry all the way home. Then he smiled as he opened a box in the kitchen and took out a large Dutch cheese. With a broad smile of success of his planned theft. Thank you girls. See you next class. Have a nice day.